Okay, just a quick video about how important it is to know what different tides are in areas that you go. As you can see here, we're in Queensland. We are at Wellington Point. It's mid-tide at the moment, and you've got a massive sand bank here. It's all the way out to that island out there, and as the tide drops, when it's low tide, you can walk out there. The, the sand is exposed, so if you've got the wrong times of the day, you might walk out and think, oh, how about this? You get stuck out of that island. As the tides come up, there's no longer uh, uh, a pathway to the island. You could have no phone reception to be able to call for help. You might not have any clothes to keep you warm if you spend the night there. You might not have any food or water, any sunscreen, etc., etc. first aid kit. So it's very important if you are going to go to an island or a, a part of an area, know the tide so you don't get stuck. Because over the years, a lot of people have had to be rescued and unfortunately lost their lives by taking the gamble of crossing across the sandbank, slipping on either side where it's deeper water, and then getting um, sucked out to sea and never seen again. So be careful. Alright, six hours later, we're here. As you can see, the water's disappeared. There's a lot of sand there, low tide, down here at Wellington Point. So just, just be mindful if you do spend the day out out on an island or an area with a body of water, just be mindful of the tides. It doesn't matter if it's in Australia, the UK, America. This happens all over the world, so just be prepared. You don't want to be cut off from the mainland. So look after yourselves. I hope you all enjoy.